Welcome friends, uh, this is uh, the basics of biology tutorials and unit 5 and this is the video number 4 and probably the last video of this unit and in this video I am going to talk about the mutations. Now why we need to talk about mutations because mutation can lead up to devastating effect in the genome of an organism and it cannot be transferred uh, sometimes, uh, it most of the times cannot be transferred if the mutation happens in the germline cell, germline uh, chromosome. In those cases only the mutation can be transferred to the future generation and that could, could be uh, another very dangerous aspect because mutation can produce variations, right? Now the variations in fact most of the time are dangerous and injurious to uh, the cell as a result the organism dies most of the time. But sometimes also the mutation can lead up to the beneficial effects. In those cases we call them the beneficial mutations. Now here uh, we will be seeing the basics of mutation and what is mutation? and some basic type of mutation like the chromosomal range of mutation and also the DNA range or DNA frame of mutation which is uh, of two type point mutation and frame shift mutation we are going to see both. Now a mutation is a change in an organism's DNA. It could be silent mutations which are changes that do not result in any change in organism's phenotype. So it will, won't affect uh, the phenotype. So we can't see the effect of the mutation. So the mutation actually ha happens in the genetic level, at the DNA level, but we cannot see. But in this case, this, this is the mutation, we can see, we can visualize it. Now, mutation that occur in germline cells, like sperms or eggs, are passed to the offspring. We have told, talked it before. Now, the mutations in the somatic cells or the body cells may be harmless or may result in disease, such as cancer. Now, uh, there are different variations of mutations. It could be chromosomal level mutation, it could be genetic level mutation. Now, in first case, we will talk about the chromosomal level mutation. Now, in chromosomal level mutation, there are uh, different types, the five different types of mutations we are talking about here. Deletion, duplication, insertion, inversion, and translocation. Now, the deletion, as the results name suggests, that, there, that means the deletion of a segment of a chromosome. So, this kind of mutations are in the macro level. So, it could be due to any kind of uh, any kind of radiations and any changes like that. Okay. So, the deletion means the deletion of few stretch of chromosomal sequence on the chromosome. Duplication means the addition of few new stretches of nucleotide, addition of few region of the chromosome to, to the existing one and it, as a result uh, the region is duplicated. So this is the place, suppose the this part is duplicated and again added to the same chromosome. So now the chromosome length is increased and uh, along with that uh, the functionality of the gene is expressed uh, in, in much more or greater level than the previous times that can lead up to the dangerous effect. So in our body, in any situations, whatever a pro protein products are expressing and whatever things are going on is actually in the thin border line. So they must go on in very tight controlled manner. So anything to higher than that can cause trouble, anything to lower than that can cause trouble. So the balance uh, between a particular range is very, very important. Third time is the inversion. That means simply this part, suppose this is the, this is the, if the region is, this region is A, this region is B, the inversion will cause B in the top, A on the bottom. As a result of that, uh, the genetic expression of the genetic makeup could be changed. Okay. In insertion, we have talked about deletion and duplication. In the duplication, we, we talked about the region uh, was previously present in the chromosome. Now that part is duplicated and again inserted. But in case of insertion only, what happens, few stretch of the chromosomal region is cut from a chromosome and insert into another chromosome. Now here we are having YOLO and blue chromosome. Now few stretch, now this part of the stretch uh, from this YOLO chromosome is cut and then it is attached to the blue chromosome. And as a result of that, the length of the uh, YOLO chromosome decreases and the length of the blue chromosome increases. And the fifth type is the translocation. The translocation means just swapping of the segments. As we can see in this case, in insertion, the segment of chromosome is cut from one chromosome only and it is inserted onto the another. But in case of translocation, both of the chromosome is cut and segment of the chromosome are swapped and substituted with each other. So the, from the segment from the red one come and bind with the green one, segment from the green one come and bind with the red one. But that doesn't necessarily mean that same amount of sequence, same amount of the same number of genes must be cut. So any kind, in case of here, the green uh, 
from the green chromosome much longer segment is cut than the uh, red chromosome okay so these are the changes of the chromosomal level the, the understanding of this process is simple and very easy because it's simple deletion duplication inversion insertion and translocation but uh, the mutation in the genetic level or the gene level is little bit complicated now uh, in, in this gene level there are two different types of mutations one is the point mutation point as the name suggests when the mutation occurs at a small nucleotide level suppose for for example this is the nucleotide range so this is the nucleotide of target nucleotide of the mutation and as a result of mutation the c is replaced with a, a t now we know that the c must pair with g and t must pair with a but if c is substituted by t then uh, the place of c in the oppos opposite strand of c you must add g but instead of g here another thing will be added which is a as a result of this substitution we can end up with tag so if this is the template strand uh, then then uh, then the mrna template will be a u u now a u u is indicating the stop codon so here on if the if the protein is synthesizing by looking at this mrna which is simply produced uh, after uh, this uh, after the transcription from this dna will eventually uh, pre terminated at this level and the desired protein will not be made because the desired protein suppose is that amount long but here it is pre terminated and uh, terminated at the previous level okay so incorrect sequence addition can lead up to the uh, stop of the protein synthesis or the, uh, or, or the ending of the protein synthesis okay this is called the nonsense type of mut mutation because in this mutation it will end up with the production of a nonsense codon or a stop codon now here is an example or analogy for that the do the red dog bit the tan uh, tan cat now here if if is something modified if this base is modified from d to m then the total thing the total meaning of uh, the sentence changes like the red mog bit the tan cat uh, that uh, the meaning is totally changed so it's actually nonsense to have something like that then we look at uh, missense mutation we have talked the nonsense now in case of missense uh, it will never uh, end uh, uh, to the premature level but still in case of incorporation of a right suppose here uh, instead of a uh, c is put in during the replication level any fault uh, it was there though the dna polymerase can have the proofreading activity but still fault can be there now this as a result of this uh, faulty addition of nucleotide sequences there is there is a c is coming instead of a now this c uh, now this cct instead of the cct it will code for a pro protein uh, amino acid proline but in previous time they must produce an amino acid histidine to have a properly functional amino acid or properly functional polypeptide which is having the few stretches of histidine but instead of histidine we are a proline the structure of proline is totally different than a histidine uh, and proline is much more bulkier now this incorrect amino acid pair can produce a malfunctioning protein because suppose uh, if we have a stretch of amino acid sequences which must be hydrophobic in nature because those amino acid sequences must be placed in, into the cell membrane region which is also hydrophobic to interact properly Now instead of that hydrophobic amino acid, instead of uh, that hydrophobic amino acid, according uh, as a result of missense mutation, we produce, we add something, which will eventually produce a hydrophilic amino acid. Now this amino acid cannot be fit into those hydrophobic amino acid region, and the protein will, structure will be very much unstable, and, and it is sooner will be degraded by the proteasome system present inside the cell. Now again, the analogy is there. the third kind is the insertion mutation now here on we are having again the dna sequence so suppose the dna sequence no substitution happened but instead of substitution suppose one new amino acid one new nucleotide is added a suppose the adenine nucleotide is come added in between this t and c as a result of this t, uh, addition of this new amino nucleotide sequences we whatever we are doing the framework or the open reading frame open reading frame means the frame for three nucleotides which act as a codon so this open reading frame changes as a result of this open reading frame change uh, we are having different types of amino acids synthesized by looking at this mrna template uh, uh, with the help of translation okay so as a result of that uh, it will be produce a totally different type of amino acid a uh, totally different type of protein which could be malfunctioning okay 
Now, as a same a similar like insertion, there could be deletion again. So instead of addition of a new nucleotide, one nucleotide can be deleted. So suppose this is the nucleotide which is deleted. So this A is deleted from the place. As a result of that, next all of this nucleotide will shift one nucleotide earlier. As a result of this shift, uh, what happens? The frame reading or open reading frame also changes, and it, it changes the framework or or frame of this total protein codons. It is called the frame shift type of mutation we are going to see in the later, uh, later slide uh, that this frame shifting will eventually lead up to the production of uh, undesired amino acid so it will end up with the malfunctioning protein. Okay. Now here again uh, the frame shift mutation we can find here this is the totally one frame now due to the addition or deletion or, and sometimes whatever different types of uh, substitution type of reactions or addition and deletion. Uh, if one nucleotide frame is shifted, as a result of that, we can see the whole amino acid sequence is changed in this new synthesized proteins than the previous one. So, as a result of this frame shift, we are having totally different protein. Now, this protein will uh, definitely sometimes will, uh, have no longer function. Uh, it could be dangerous for the cell. It can kill the cell eventually sometimes, or it can have no function. It can lead to no function. So. These are th the different types of mutations that you can see, but sometimes this mutation, this any kind of point mutation, one nucleotide changes, one nucleotide addition or one nucleotide deletion can lead up to the production of protein which is necessary, which is uh, potentially beneficial sometimes. Now, uh, now for that purpose, uh, uh, the beneficial mutations sometimes give uh, add extra advantage to gather the variations among species. Okay, so. Uh, that's the basic positive nature of the mutation, but actually most of the time mutation can lead up to the dangerous effect. But still, mutation uh, could be tried because we need to try different ways to gather variations because the variation is actually spice of life because if you have variation, you could, be, uh, you could stay on the run of evolutionary track and you could be selected according to your positive variations. Okay, so that's the theory of evolution. So that's it. I hope it will help you. Thank you.